Let us now take the fourth model from the topic of mensuration which is based on painting the walls of a given room. The question says all the four lateral walls and the ceiling of a room of length 12 feet, breadth 10 feet and height 8 feet are to be painted. Find the total cost if the cost of painting is rupees 15 per square feet and the doors and windows occupy 40 square feet of area. So here as given in the question there is a room of length 12 feet, breadth 10 feet and height 8 feet where all the four surrounding walls and the ceiling have to be painted. The doors and windows occupy 40 square feet of area and the cost of painting is 15 rupees per square feet. So from this information we need to find out the total cost of painting this room. From the question we can understand that the room here is in the shape of a cuboid. Why? Because length, breadth and height all are different. And in this cuboid we have to paint the four surrounding walls and the ceiling. So the total area to be painted can be taken as the lateral surface area of the cuboid plus the area of the ceiling. Or it can also be taken as the total surface area of the cuboid minus the area of the floor. Why? Because total surface area includes area of all the six walls. That is the four surrounding walls and the base and the top. So from this if we subtract the area of the floor we get the required area to be painted. So very clearly the area to be painted can be taken as the lateral surface area of the cuboid plus the area of the ceiling. And from this we need to subtract the area that is occupied by doors and windows. Why? Because doors and windows are not painted. So that has to be subtracted. So area occupied by area of doors and windows we can say area of doors and windows. Now by using the relevant formula we can find out the total area to be painted that will be equal to the lateral surface area of a cuboid is equal to 2H times L plus B that is 2HL plus 2HB plus area of ceiling. Area of ceiling is equal to area of the floor why because both ceiling and floor area are equal in a cuboid or in a rectangular room and area of floor is nothing but length into breadth. So we can say that area of the ceiling here is length into breadth LB minus area of doors and windows that is given as 40 square feet. So this is taken as 40. Now let us substitute the values here that is 2 into height here is given as 8 L plus B is 12 plus 10 plus L into B is 12 into 10 minus 40. So this comes out to be 16 into 12 plus 10 is 22. 16 into 22. 16 into 22 will be equal to 352. 352 plus 12 into 10 is 120 minus 40. So this will come out to be 432 square feet. So we can say that the area that has to be painted is equal to 432 square feet. Why? Because 352 plus 120 is 472. 472 minus 40 is 432. And the cost of painting is rupees 15 per square feet. So the total cost of painting can be taken as rupees 15 per square feet into the number of square feet which have to be painted. That is 432. So this comes out to be 6480 rupees. So that is the answer for the given question. And as I have mentioned earlier, the area to be painted can also be taken as the total surface area minus the area of the floor minus the area of doors and windows. So either we can find out the total area to be painted by taking it as lateral surface area plus area of ceiling minus area of doors and windows otherwise total surface area minus area of the floor minus area of doors and windows why because these two areas are not to be painted the floor is not painted and the area occupied by doors and windows is not painted so from total surface area if we subtract these two we again get the same answer that is the area to be painted will be 432 square feet and then multiplied by per meter cost will give us the total cost of painting this room. Let us now take another example from model 4 which is based on the surface area of a three dimensional geometric shape. The question says what is the approximate area of the canvas required to make a conical tent of radius 30 feet and height 18 feet. So here we have to find out the area of the canvas required. Area of the canvas is nothing but the cloth which is used to make a conical tent. The radius is 30 feet and the height is 18 feet. Now we know that a conical tent will appear as shown in the figure here. The radius is given as 30 feet. The radius is 30 and the height is equal to 18 feet. We are supposed to find out how much 
canvas or how much cloth will be required to make this tent. Now very clearly if you observe when we make a conical tent the cloth is not required in the base. The cloth is required only for the curved surface or the lateral surface. So here the area of the canvas will be nothing but the curved surface area of the cone and we know that curved surface area of a cone is equal to pi r l where r is the radius of the cone and l is the slant length of the cone. Remember don't take the area of canvas as total surface area why because in total surface area we take curved surface area plus the area of the base circle. But we very well understand that while making a tent the cloth is not placed on the base or the circular piece of cloth is not required. We only use canvas cloth to make the curved surface. So the answer here is nothing but the curved surface area which is pi r l. Now from the question we know that radius is 30 feet and the height is 18 feet. And in the answer here radius and slant length l is required. And slant length l can be calculated as root over r square plus h square. Why? Because slant length, height and radius make a right angle triangle. And in any right angle triangle, the Pythagoras theorem holds true. That is, hypotenuse square should be equal to base square plus height square. So going by that, we can say L equals to root over R square plus H square. So by substituting the values of R and H, that is R is 30. So 30 square plus H is 18, 18 square. We get this as 900 plus 324. That is equal to 1224. So the slant length L will be root over 1224. And root over 1224 can be approximately taken as 35. 35 feet here. Why? Because 35 square is 1225. This is very close to 1225. So approximately the answer here can be taken as 35. So we know that the slant length is 35. Now by substituting the values there, we get the required answer. So area of canvas or the area of canvas cloth will be equal to pi r l which is 22 by 7 into radius is 30 feet and l that we have got here is 35. Now 7 here gets cancelled 5 times. So 7, so 5 into 22 is 110 into 30. So the answer here comes out to be 3300 square feet. Why are we taking the units as square feet? Because this is area. Area is always measured in terms of square units. And because the unit of length here is given as feet, answer should be taken in terms of square feet. So we can say that the total area of the cloth required to make such a conical tent will be 3300 square feet. So this is how we need to identify which formula is to be applied and then simply by substituting the given values we can find out the required answer.